Hey Gemini, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for your week of August 8, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Alrighty. Uh, if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Many energies surrounding you this week. Uh, three of them that jump out are Sagittarius, Leo, and a Scorpio. There is a warning for you guys to proceed with caution. There's also news of new money coming in. Um, asking you to stop beating yourself up because the help you need is on the way and some big shifts in energy for you guys in the month of August. So right now we're looking at your week of August 8th for Gemini and your first card up is the four of swords. Four of swords coming into you guys like the calm before the storm. Okay. Uh, it's asking you to get the rest that you need while you can. And beside that, we have the Two of Pentacles. Now, let me say this. If you guys are struggling a little bit financially, not really struggling, but uh, you're out of your comfort zone financially, this is indicating that there is new money coming into play. Okay? And we have the Page of Cups coming in with that unexpected offer of love that applies to my singles as well as to my couples. I uh, also want to throw out a Pisces may or may not resonate. King of Wands coming in, okay? I think I did throw out there an Aries. You're definitely dealing with a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This um, fire sign here, this is someone that is coming in to help you. Uh, where I said the help that you need is coming in. This is someone uh, very grounded, very centered, very wise person that's coming in to offer that help. Center of your reading. I love it. This is my favorite card in the deck. You guys got the chariot. Okay, now the chariot is offering up your yes answer. Okay, but it, the cool thing about the chariot is one, it's going to come rushing in. And two, it brings everything you want and desire. So, I mean, it kind of trumps your entire reading. So I kind of like this. Next to that, we have the moon. Now the moon is coming off as a divine timing card. Uh, and I've seen this in most of the readings. It's divine timing means... Things have to line up and fall in place for the next event to occur. And some of you guys are losing your patience. Imagine that. A Gemini with no patience. Um, but no amount of wishing or anything like that is going to move things forward. Okay? So it's just one of those things that's about timing. Page of Wands coming in again with that fire sign of a Sagittarius. This is the messenger card. And that message is, look at there, the Eight of Cups. There is someone or something that no longer serves a purpose to you or that you have outgrown because it shows that you are turning your back and you're walking away from it. And with that, we have the devil card. And with the devil card, I'm going to say, I'm not going to say anything until I clarify it, to be quite honest with you. It could go any way in this layout I've got going. So let's move on with another deck and some more messages for my Geminis for the week of August 8th. Okay. First card up, we have the Two of Swords. That Two of Swords says, you guys have got decisions to make that you've been putting off and you've been putting them off for too long. With that, we have the Two of Coins. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, I love. That's total happiness, total contentment with love arrows flying around. On the Page of Cups, we have the Star. And the Star comes in with um, Wish Fulfillment. Uh, this is also indicating any delays that occur the week of the 8th for my Geminis is to your favor. Now, let me explain. Uh, just for an example, let's say you're working on a deadline and you're not going to make that deadline. You need extra time. That extra time is going to come into play. On the King of Wands, we have the world, as in the world is your oyster. Beside that, on the chariot, we have the Eight of Cups. Same thing. There is something that no longer serves a purpose. You're shutting the door and you're walking away from it. It's Eight of Cups over top of the Eight of Cups. On the Moon card energy, we have that Pisces energy again with that unexpected offer of love. On the Page of Wands, your next message is the unexpected offer of love. So let me say this. Let me pause right here. If I have single Geminis out there, this is absolutely telling you that you have options. 
okay? Keep your options open or maybe weigh the pros and cons of your options. For my couples out there, this could also indicate the love of family and friends. On that Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, you guys are surrounded by healing energy. Uh, more than likely of someone that has done you wrong, someone you're healing from, someone you're letting go. Now, on that Devil card, we have the Tower. So, what comes with the Devil is the Tower card moment. Someone's shady in your circle. <laughs> uh, this is actually a confrontation. This is not really a confrontation, but you exploding at your temper. Uh, it's very brief and passing. <laughs> There's nothing to fear because this is just your temper and it leads to sudden changes that are much better. This is you having your say and moving forward. I mean, and to be honest with you, Gemini, this is you absolutely winning the argument. Just want to throw that out there. Center of the reading bonus. Look at there. We have the couples card. Strong in love this week for my Geminis, whether you are single or a couple. Overall, I think you've got a fantastic week. It's going to be very high vibration. It's going to be quick moving energy. So take your time and enjoy. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com. If you're seeking a personal reading, I'll see you guys soon.